Why, hello, YouTube. Uh, want to uh, kind of dropping off uh, talking about some so social issues and things that are going on. Uh, things of that nature. Uh, but what I am going to continue talking about, along with those things, just not as much those things, is boxing and especially amateur boxing. Uh, one thing I'm suggesting every kid do is go back and look at a specific fight here. And a specific fight is a professional fight. Larry Holmes had uh, just won the championship. Uh, Ali vacated the WBC crown. And Kenny Norton and Ali fought for that. I can't remember if there was a one other fight before that, if it was a bigger tournament, or if they just took the top two guys and let them fight for it. I know on the WBA side, once they got the belt in the, or the crown back from Ali, who kept hesitating, and he held on as long as he could, and I'm not blaming him for that. Uh, but the fight I want you to go see is everybody, even if you're an older fellow like myself, is to go back and look at the Larry Holmes, uh, Mike Weaver fight, the first fight. This would have been around the summer of 1979, June or July. And tell me if you see any fights like this anymore. Anything remotely to that. Um, you're going to watch a fight that was scheduled for 15 rounds. And you're not going to see, I don't believe, one hold in that fight. In other words, there was no holding. It was actually a real boxing fight. And you don't see that no more. Everybody should go back and look at this fight. Uh, you can see how what ended up to be a very, very great champion who fought most every single comer along the line uh, for eight years. Uh, but you see how they started with the bashing uh, with that and uh, and the bashing with that is the bashing of Larry Holmes who was a great champion one of the greatest and people that say that oh he had a weak field out there to choose from that's not true that's simply not true I would I would take at least the first two years that Larry held the crown and anybody in the top 10 in the WBC rankings would have whooped uh, anybody any crown uh, uh, anybody that's got a heavyweight belt today including the world champion whichever one of them you consider uh, to be the champion uh, he, he would have uh, any one in the top ten would have demolished Usyk or the big man Fury. I, I know you can't see that. I know that you're unaware of the history uh, of a 180-pound Jack Dempsey destroying a six foot six or six foot seven, uh, 200 and. Uh, 30 or 40 pound man back years ago almost killed that man uh, so 
boxing has literally changed beyond belief. And one of the best pieces of proof that I can show you with is just to go back the few short decades when boxing wasn't in its glory days. Uh, I don't believe boxing was in its glory days with Ali as well. Uh, but that could be argued, and I'd buy that argument. I wouldn't argue it much. Uh, I believe the glory days were a couple of decades before Ali. Uh, however, Ali was in a decade filled with gold and diamonds compared to what's going on today. And Larry Holmes was too. So everyone should go look at the Larry Holmes, Mike Weaver fight that happened in 1979 and a challenge post down here any links to any fights that you think is better than that fight uh, that has went on in the past I'll say 10 years uh, we can say 15 years any fight any fight and uh, there are other fights that I could pull from that went uh, 15 rounds with no holding. Uh, I'll do you one better. A year later, and I uh, believe it was in February or March of 1980, uh, go look at the uh, Big John Tate fighting Mike Weaver. And look at that and tell me if you find any fight in the last 15 years that would measure up to either two of these fights. Uh, but... What I, what I would ask you to do is just put up the reasons why, because uh, logically you're not going to be able to. You can just say it, uh, but it's, it's not going to mean anything, you know. I see people on these YouTube videos, I watch a lot of these cop videos, I'm really against crazy criminal behavior, and I'm against police overreach with their authority as well. Uh, but I see some cops will go up on somebody and they're like, we're going to arrest you for this. And they'll say, no, you ain't, but they end up getting arrested. So don't come at me with that type of logic. Uh, come, up, come at me with thorough real truth and let's just see about these fights uh next video i'm going to have up is going to be on talking about zeke castro so you guys get ready for that uh he had a fight boy you look at either two of these guys either two either either one of them and these young amateurs are showing greatness and uh, as a matter of fact, watching uh, Zeke Castro's fight earlier today is what got me to thinking to make this video concerning the heavyweight division. Uh, but I'll put a video out on that a little later today, uh, more as we approach the evening or in the evening itself. Uh, boxing is really suffering, it's really struggling, and it's struggling because of the product. And I'll give a warning yet again, and in the words of Muhammad Ali, it ain't bragging if you can back it up. This heavyweight division has no idea the destruction and mayhem that's coming up into it uh, if Joe uh, just continues doing what he's doing. There's, I can't, all I got, to, all I really can say, because I can't convince any, anybody of anything, is you just sit back and wait. Just sit back and wait. Uh, we got all the time in the world around here and we're not practicing like you folks do. 
We don't have the mentality that you folks have. We're not listening to new wave experts that you're listening to. We're having none of it. What you're going to see is nothing new, but I'm telling you the excitement to the division is coming back. It won't be the type of excitement like you'll see in this Holmes Weaver fight, uh, uh, but it'll be a Tyson esque, Mike Tyson esque uh, thing going on. And I'm telling you, it's, it's going to be more exciting. Uh, Unless they change the rules of the game. So I'm going to finish with that. You young guys, go back and look at this. Older folks, maybe you were sitting in the arena at the time. Still go back and look at it. Uh, refresh your memory because it's kindergarten schoolgirls boxing today compared to these guys of yesteryear. And it's a good fight. You'll enjoy it. Blessings to everyone. I hope you have a great, great Sunday. And we hope that this coming will, uh, week is filled with blessings and success and goodness for you. And we pray that come, come your way, what may, that you're able to get through it and, and cope and uh, battle and win through it. Much love, everybody.